the Revolution 11 video setting up a MySQL database, the Gear Host Edition. Hi, this is Jim from Revolution 11. I'll be walking you through today's demo. In this video, we will be setting up a MySQL database to capture data from our smart thing. Creating the database. Sign on to your GearHost account, choose Databases from the menu bar to the left, and then click on the Create Database button in the upper right. Name the database and then select MySQL in the middle of the screen. We're going to be using the free plan to start with. Click on the Create Empty Database button on the bottom of the screen. You will be redirected to the database homepage once it is set up. You'll want to make note of the database server host address, the name of the database, the username for the database, and the password. You can expose the password by clicking on the icon nearest on the right. Working with the database. We're going to be using dBeaver in this example. This is a great cross-platform application that you can use to work with many kinds of SQL databases. It allows you to use both SQL statements or a GUI editor to work with your databases. So before we begin, download and install dBeaver. When you first open the application, you will be prompted to select a database, choose MySQL, and then the Next button below. Let's enter all of the details necessary to connect to our hosted MySQL database. Enter the host name, the default port for MySQL, which is 3306, your database name, and your full access username and password, and press the Test Connection button. Since we've not connected to a MySQL database yet, we will be prompted to download a driver for the database. Click on the Download button in the lower right-hand corner. Press the Test Connection button one more time, and you should be able to successfully connect to your database. You will get a pop-up asking if you want to create a sample database. Since we've already created a database, we're going to click No. A tip of the day will show up every time you start the app, unless you deselect the Show Tips on Startup checkbox. Close the window to start working with your database. Click on the connection to your hosted MySQL instance in the panel to the left and open up the disclosure triangle so we can see the MySQL directory. Open up the disclosure triangle for the databases and you will see the database that we created earlier. So let's create the table and columns that we will need to capture data from an IoT button. Select the database in the panel on the left and then on the menu up top, choose SQL Editor and click on the first item, also named SQL Editor. In the description of this video, you will find a simple SQL statement that will create the table columns and set up the primary key that we need to capture the data from an IoT button. Copy the SQL statement and paste it into the SQL editor window in DB Beaver. Finally, press the run button in the upper left hand corner of the SQL editor to execute the SQL statement. You should see a success message that looks something like this. On the panel to the left, choose tables and right click and choose Refresh. You should see the new tables and columns. That's it. Remember, it's a best practice to use a special account 
just for an API or service. But the free tier for GearHost just supports a single user. This will give you a good way to quickly test your IoT button with the SQL database. Congratulations, you're all set up to use this SQL database with a serverless app that will insert the data from an IoT button click into your new database. You can find videos on how to do that and much more here on this video channel. See you next time. Do you need help getting started with the cloud or IoT? Contact Revolution 11. We'd love to chat.